Oh, my apologies, everyone. There seems to be an issue with the stream that went under. It's just very difficult with the one screen, so we may have lost some content there. I do apologize, but it's just been fists of angry dice so far, basically. Um... I believe this is more Thanos action being thrown into She-Hulk. Four in. No longer Hex, so those is crits are doing some work. No wild though, so no throw. Power being distributed. Distributed. Oh, is this the Misfits? Is this the Misfits play? I didn't see who this one was for, but we've hit a hit. So the one damage incoming with for characters within range three. I think this might be for Gamora. Ooh, a wild. I believe a wild is the move. Or is that the shield and blank? Oh no, the wild's the bloody attack. Oh. <laughs> wow. And the winger token, of course, about to come in. Two with a pierce. Or three, actually, wild. Oh, my lord. Wow. That is just Scarlet. <laughs> Johansson, Scarlet Johansson. That is just Black Widow taken off the table in one swing again. And out of activation, wow. What? I mean, <laughs> we laughed about the Misfits option early, but... Oh. When you're rolling dice like that, does it even matter? Well, this does mean, though, it's without going... Oh, Scarlet Witch now. I mean... Surely it's Scarlet Witch goes and retreats back. She-Hulk can't make that double move with a throw to save it. <laughs> She-Hulk intentionally being aggressive uh, from the attack from She-Hulk, uh, from Thanos, which is why she's in that position now. I mean, you now have prior if you have a way to turn this off, but man, oh man, there's a lot of points on the table to be scored. It has to be Scarlet Witch. I mean, all that... I mean, it doesn't, because obviously Liam... Uh, if, if if it is Scarlet, I mean, it, no. Thinking about it more now, all you have to do is go over there and base it. So you allow Gamora to go before Scarlet. But of course, Gamora can go last, so it doesn't matter. I think it's She-Hulk activates Daze's <sighs> Star-Lord. And displace Thanos to secure your four, five, six in the center. So, I mean, and then it's forced onto Gamora to come back. Did you guys count? Oh, this is so interesting. Scarlet, which only with four. I mean, you can move. Oh. 
awkward because there's a train through. You can't get, you can't sneak the line through because you could go. Scarlet Witch comes up onto that back point. Days of Star Lord, and then everyone's safe from Gamora's activation, so she stays still. And you get seventeen, and then She Hulk just retreats to the center, and you're scoring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you get the book, which is enough to put Curtis up to eighteen. <laughs> these next that these next dice rolls are gonna be big. It's anyone's game still. I love the fact that I like I just really appreciate when players take the time to look at all the options. What is the most likely outcome? Which outcome do I need to roll the less dice for? The knee jerk reaction is to have Scarlet Witch try and deal with the back point, but you need to day style or to force the early Gamora activation so that you can either base the back point. But I think Scarlet Witch has to come forward because then there's still the risk of Gamora coming up and, and doing what she's been doing this entire game, which is a long move, pounce and strike, and potentially dazing Scarlet Witch, and then it's game over. Curtis has all the time in the world. He could literally take the next 35 minutes to really make sure he's making the right decision about this. Work his way through the decisions. Sit down with a dice calculator and figure out the optimal path. There is no need to rush. Oh, I'm not sure what's been happening with this internet of mine, but there's been some drops recently, and so it's causing the stream to drop. And with the one stream, uh, one screen, it's very hard to take keep track of that. So I do apologise for the gap in the content. We are in Curtis's time. The boys seem to be talking. Are they talking it out? Perhaps. And Scarlet Witch isn't holding a book, so let's imagine a world where no dice are being thrown. Scarlet Witch walks up. She, I mean, Star Lord activates, days of Scarlet Witch, and then She Hulk just throws him off. How many points are we looking at? Four, which is not enough. So there is no simple walk onto and then solve. The dice have to get thrown, and I think Star Lord has to go down with one shot. Yep, one shot from Scarlet Witch. Very confident that spend that builder. Yeah, the spender is six. You'd love to be have the ability to um be able to throw that terrain to make you feel really good. Can you throw? Can you throw she? Oh no, it's only a terrain throw. That's right. Couldn't even throw your own character into him. I'd love to hear what the boys are talking about. Clearly interacting. Um, 
maybe there's a rule situation. I don't think so. Nothing's really come across that I've seen at this point in the this juncture in the game. All right. So measurement tools coming out. I mean, clearly, She-Hulk activation here is more likely to kill Star-Lord. And let's say that forces Gamora back. She, at maximum, gets 1, 2, 3, which is enough to get to 16. But if She-Hulk activates and kills Star-Lord, she's going to secure 1, 2, 3, 4, which is still not enough because she can't hold more than one book. Which means it's too scary. Because then Gamora comes up and kills Scarlet Witch. And then you lose. Sitting, staring at the game, same position for some time, and the the hands are moving. Interaction is happening between the players. Power being spent from She Hulk. Okay, She Hulk is throwing Thanos. And I think we're seeing a spender. Okay. Oh no, I feel this might be risky. I mean, he's toast. So that happens, book goes down. And it's just a matter of case, I think this is just simply create the option for more to long move, pounce, and strike as we talked about. How much power she got? She got nine. She can do a spender. I think the spender is not as good as the builder for single target, though. Yes, no. They must have another character, so doesn't really matter. Oh, of course. What am I even talking about? I just. Oh, there it is. It makes sense. I completely forgot that there was this perfect position set up already for Scarlet Witch. And so the threatening of Scarlet Witch with Gamora is completely nullified by the fact that She-Hulk can take it. I mean, even if Gamora somehow manages to one-shot She-Hulk off this attack after the sacrifice, Scarlet Witch um, is more than capable enough to... Um, I mean, is that, that's not enough points, is it? One, two, three, four... If she walks up and picks up that book that they drop, I mean, I suppose that's the line, isn't it? Oh, and they're together for the, oh dear, oh no. Yes. Oh dear. Oh deary dear. So, Gamora Pounce, Spender, which is range three. And two attacks. Oh dear. Within two or one? Within two, of course, which they are with sacrifice. Oh no. Oh. 
Oh, Liam trying to do a nice techy little pounce to still stay on that back gamma. Uh oh. How much is everything though? How are we looking for power? Four power. We're not gonna be able to do we're only we're only doing one spender, but it just means that we got two attacks coming through now. Ooh, I mean it's not Oh, dice are going to be dice, right? So, look at that. Beautiful pounce to run into that terrain. End up within three. And something I'm not fully across is how this is going to work. So, oh my god, look at that. Look at that perfect positioning. I mean, here it comes. Here comes the spender. <clears throat> and of course, we still have a book attack. I mean, we still have book. So... We are getting two attacks through. Potentially, potentially getting three. We are getting three attacks in right now. Three attacks now. Whew. That's a lot. That's a lot for this She Hulk to handle. All right. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh god. Six with a pierce. So that's five damage coming through to whoever that was. Oh, Skulls County has blocks, of course. Ah, oh, well done. That was a very good block. Very good block with those skulls. So splitting up these attacks, so the next one going into She-Hulk. Still, that's three damage. He only has to do three with a beam. And I'm assuming that the mods... Liam has rolled one... So are we are we going to see the beam? Range three, right? That wasn't a move. That was a throw. Confirm it's range B three. Yeah. All right. Well, as the boys finish out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points to Curtis to close this out, I think. I might have to ask Liam about that. About him, the beam with the book. Maybe that's something I've missed. All right. Well, that's the game, gents. What a game. What a angry, hateful game between the two. I might give him a second just to talk this out post-game, but wow. That was just... Oh, hot, fiery dice. All right, I'll jump in there and just let them finish up. Again, that second attack did nothing, but uh, it was damn close. Yeah, no, it was really close. Hey, gents, how are we? No bad, not bad. What an Sweat. intense game. Are you boys sweaty? Yeah, that is a... Uh... <laughs> Oh, very, mate. very sweaty. Yeah, mate. What an intense finish. That was such a crazy game. I mean, the amount of firepower that's coming out of those dice was just crazy from both ends. Uh, yeah, Gamora was just an absolute unit. I think every did... attack she did, she pretty much... Except for when she attacked She-Hulk, she one-shotted most people. Yeah, uh... I mean, it was just crazy. Um, Well done, Curtis, for fantastic effort, mate, for getting for squeaking the win through at the end. Fantastic job. And Liam, to you, mate, well done. A masterful job, both of you. You guys keen for some questions? Yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. All right. So going just re uh, rewinding a little bit to turn zero, when we got the double E's out, I mean, securing the 15 for you, Liam, I think was very natural, knowing that the, the Thanos, Gamora, Star-Lord was... Um, 
the clear, like a, a known quantity. Was there anything else you were mm. considering, uh, fifteen or seventeen wise? I know seventeen can be a bit awkward with Thanos. Yeah, I said I said coming back in uh, back before this game that I wanted it to be sixteen or less. Yeah, uh, preferably just because it stops the double Hulk, or if he does take double Hulk, the support is just not the same uh, there with what it can do sort of thing. Uh, oh. Like, obviously, if it was Gamma and Researcher as well is just another example. Uh, that just means I get the, the normal Rocket and Groot instead of Gamora. But, uh, yeah, just go lower. Because, yeah, I can't fit in. The list I would end up having for 17 would have been... I think I would have still took Gamora, so it'd be Gamora, Ro- uh, Rocket, Star-Lord, and Thanos. But I think, he, like he says, he would have had Hulk. And then that's two twenty health bodies that you have to try and chew through, which is just a bit too hard. And Kurt, circling back to you, mate, um, I know that for a fact I've seen the double Hulk with the double twos out. Um, how did fifteen feel? I mean, the Scarlet Witch coming in, doing some work for you, but um, were you comfortable in fifteen? Yeah, this is my this is my most comfortable fifteen. Um, I figured that my game plan had to be. Uh, shut down one Thanos turn of cosmic portaling with no more mutants, and uh, and then I just had to put him on his injured side as soon as I could. So I wasn't too focused on Gamora or Star Lord. Um, Thanos is kind of his only displacement with cosmic portal and gamma. So I figured, yep, one more turn with no more mutants, and then take him to his injured side. And if I didn't do that, I was going to get crushed. So. Uh, that that was really the the plan and the thought with this lineup. Yeah, I mean, it, it certainly executed that way. I thought as well when I saw um you give the power to a Scarlet Witch during that turn two for the um yeah the no more mutants to come out. It did mean that you had no power for that turn's um uh, delivery, and I was worried that you won't be able to get that off. But you were still be able to get that off, of course. Uh, Liam, back to you for a question, mate. Um, surely you felt really strong and happy with the way. That the turn one and the turn two was flowing. Um, was there a, was there a decision point or a pivot point that you felt that was quite significant that really made the game swing back on you at some point? It was actually probably that Scarlet Witch attack into Thanos getting, I think he got four damage on him, plus he got a hex and incinerate, which is just uh, solid. Uh, I think it was that that point of getting so much on that. Uh, that turn two priority, not knowing what I was actually going to go with, uh, was quite pinnacle. Like, obviously, I chose to go for... Try and remove a body foot guard fast, which was a Koye, which I went for. Uh, but it was really, like, we were both just passing activations, not doing anything with certain characters, just so that no one showed their hand. And, like, either you show your hand and it works for you, or you show your hand and that you fall on your face sort of thing uh, was what we were both, I think, trying to avoid. There's a lot of KG uh, goes, like, I think Black Widow moved and pa- uh, stayed still and passed. Star-Lord did the same sort of thing. Uh, and it was just that sort of KG play uh, yeah. until the bloodbath. Yeah, I mean, I love the um, the slow play into the beginning because obviously something like double E's like this is just ridiculous, especially with the output that both teams are able to do with their pieces. I love seeing the Okoye and the Gamora positioning, just being outside of ranges, utilizing stealth and just waiting for someone to just tip that little bit too far, both doing wonderful positioning. Uh, Curtis, back to you, mate, with, your, uh, with a question for you. Um, uh, during that last activation on turn four, you were taking the time to really consider what line it was to secure most likely um i saw the hands moving around a lot were you boys kind of interacting and talking out like walk me through what was happening during that time no i just i just get twitchy when i'm thinking too hard (laughs) so just extreme uh... silence was it (laughs) yeah no i um so the challenge on the last one there was that he had mission objective and so I really didn't want Star-Lord's book going on to Thanos. Um, but then it meant that I had to use my throw to displace Thanos. And essentially I had to one-shot Star-Lord if I wanted to get She-Hulk back in bodyguard range of Scarlet Witch. Because uh, if he goes with Gamora and, and removes her off the board, that's a problem for me. Absolutely. So I was just kind of weighing out, you know, we had... 40 minutes on the clock. We were kind of joking. Liam was counting it down by the second for me there uh, as we were going. But uh, 
you know, I just thought, okay, add up all the points, think about the scenario. Um, gamma's tricky and that, you know, everything is worth so many, uh, was worth different point values and stuff. So it was just kind of making sure on the line of play and then uh, hoping She-Hulk would finally get a really nice roll in and she came through. So um, came down to that, that one shot of Star-Lord and being able to then be in bodyguard range was really helpful for me. Um, another line that you could have potentially taken that I noticed, and I want to just ask if you'd consider it, was obviously Scarlet Witch was in the center at risk with Gamora activating to come take her out with a move, pounce, and a strike, uh, which with with the way that Liam's been rolling could have potentially have happened. Would you, would, did you consider uh, Scarlet Witch moving up to that back point and she throwing some, some fire and ice into Star-Lord to potentially daze him and then keep her out of position for Gamora's activation? Because even if you don't kill... Yeah. Star Lord, you've still got all those bodies on the point, and you don't worry about the book. Do you know what I mean? Like that could have been an option. Yeah, I I didn't want to keep Star Lord alive there, and I I felt like with how it was positioned, that Scarlet Witch wasn't going to be able to move into a position with where She Hulk was, where she could um, attack and then throw the size three in the corner there at him. So. It, I'm sure if I looked further into that line, it, there was probably something better there. But um, what what I wanted to avoid was, one, if I daze Star-Lord, then it gets mission objective on to Thanos. Uh, and I wasn't playing for a draw. I didn't want to get another round against Thanos there. Um, and then, two, if...